More than 200 children were released by armed groups in South Sudan on Tuesday, the second such release of children in a series that will see almost a thousand children released from the ranks of armed groups in the coming months. The first release of children, witnessed by the head of the UN mission in South Sudan, Anis David Shearer, took place in Yambia town in early February, where more than 300 children were released to return to their families or to UNICEF-supported care centers. The latest release of a father 207 children took place in a rural community called Bakiwiri in the Gbudue area, about an hour's drive from Yambio in the country's western equatorial region. 16-year-old Gifty, who had been kidnapped on her way to the garden, expressed her relief, saying she had experienced hardship in the bush, including punishment for inability to cook. I'm very happy and I want to go back to my family and I want to stay with my family because I've taken a long time with, without them. For 17-year-old Matthew, looting and witnessing killings were traumatizing experiences that he would rather put behind him quickly. When I'm there in the bus, I'm doing back to my peoples, to my community, and I'm stealing some, 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 someone sing on the road and I arrest the people to the bus and I'm, I managed to come back and I'm apologize to, to my community and to my family and I'm already now going to school. Let them forgive me for that. Susan John has seen it all. Three of her children were abducted and forced into armed conflict. Although happy to see them among those released in Yambio, her face tells a story of sadness, suffered through years of waiting to see them. According to UNICEF, the UN Children's Fund, there are still around 19,000 children serving in the ranks of the armed groups in South Sudan. For the UN mission in South Sudan, this release is an encouraging step in the overall protection of children in the country. All this is part of our move together with the government to ensure that uh, uh, the children of South Sudan are protected.